Hi everybody, today I would like to take you for a tour of our cattle pens. There are no cows present, so we are not a danger here. Um, this is the first and the main pen. Uh, what I like to do is uh, bring the cows in. They, they follow me when I carry a bucket, so I'll use alfalfa pellets, uh, organic alfalfa pellets in a five gallon bucket, and I'll come and I'll dump it in one of these troughs. And they follow me right through this gate here. So I don't have, this, this pen is just kind of a catching pen. So it doesn't have the board fence. Uh, it's not as much of a visual or physical barrier. Um, because it is a larger space. So this is the larger space where they're comfortable. I let them graze this area uh, when they're in this paddock so that they're comfortable being in here. And also, I'll show you in a second where their water is. They also have to come into the pens to get water when they're in this paddock. Uh, so you can see the squeeze chute here. Um, I have seen cows walk backwards, or not backwards, but walk into the squeeze chute uh, because I left it open accidentally. Uh, they'll walk into the alleyway and then back back out. They're very comfortable with this whole setup. Um, we don't handle them a lot with respect to running them through the chutes, uh, maybe every six weeks or so, just to keep it familiar with them uh, so they're not scared of it. Uh, so come on, we'll show you what we've got next. They do have a bit of a covered structure here uh, to keep them out of the rain, which we're kind of getting sprinkled on here right now. Um, watch my other video about the WW Squeeze Shoot, which I'll be uh, posting shortly. So um, this, uh, this panel here has a gate in it. And uh, this, is, this is one of my sorting panels. So again, this closes off this paddock or this little uh, Corral pin uh, from the other two. So I have a series of three pins. So let's go look at them. I need some oil. Okay. So this is the first of two sorting pins. You see, I have water in this pin, um, and we've gotten into the board fence section. Uh, let's see. So again, they're able to come in here. Uh, you can see the, the alleyway behind me here, or off to the side. Uh, we've got a 12 foot radius uh, bin leading into the squeeze chute, so they don't know they're going to the squeeze chute until they're there, basically. So I'm following uh, what I've read about good handling practices and stockmanship. Uh, Coming in a little closer, I'll show you something here. So this is a sliding uh, gate. So this is intended to stop the cows in this section of the alleyway. So I typically will put my cattle scale here in this part of the alleyway. There's a drop gate, if you want to stick the phone through the fence maybe. So there's a drop gate here that the cows pick up with their head and then it drops down behind them and then they try to back up and it stops them. So I can set it based on what size animal I have coming in with the fence. Uh, if you guys want to see more about this, the drop gate, uh, maybe dimensions if you want to build your own, um, or if you want me to build one for you, let me know in the comments below. Okay, follow me farther up the alleyway here. Um, my gates, I like to put the catches, the catch style latches so I can swing them closed fast. So if you want to swing around this way, <laughs> you playing with the zoom? If you want to swing around this way, so uh, basically there's a pin that comes along here that's on the mounted on the gate, and uh, it, when it swings closed, it shuts behind it, and it gets trapped. So your gate won't open, but it will open either direction. So it's easy to open, easy to close, but the cows don't know how it works. So that's ideal. Okay, so this is our final sorting pin. You come on through the gate. Final sorting pin. Again, I'm thankful we have a tree here. As old and decrepit as it looks, it is a tree. It is shade for them. Um, so again, animals get hot when you're working them sometimes. Uh, it depends on the animal, the breed, the species, and how hard you're pushing. So they have access to water from this pin. So both sorting pins have the access to water. Uh, here's another main gate. 
then if you'll turn around, you can see what we've got for our alleyway. Or if you want to leave, maybe. Okay, so you can look. Um, maybe turn back this way. So I use a wooden gate that I made to close the alleyway off behind the animals. Um, I can be in, the, in this box or outside the box as necessary. Uh, but I have a, a pin closure. It's not a real good latch. But so far, no animals have challenged this gate. It's very visually blocking, so they, they don't tend to, uh, to challenge it. I've also added extra posts in this section to prevent the animals from breaking out and trying to get away. So it necks down right where you are, so if you want to backpack this direction. Here is what we would call a sorting gate. So you've got two options. You can, you can look this way. And that's where I would park the trailer. Uh, it, it narrows down, but it opens back up. And that gives them hope that they're getting away. So they'll make the corner here, and then immediately there is where I park the cattle trailer. Uh, so again, I'll chase them And then them you that shut way. that gate. Yeah, and then I, sh I sometimes shut this gate behind them. You're right. So this is kind of a two-way gate. You either load into the cattle trailer, or you keep it closed, and you run them up that alleyway. So again, you can see kind of a... Kind of a three-way gate. Well, you go one way into the trailer, or you go up the alley. Two-way. Yeah, okay. So when they run up the alley, you can see the drop gate there, and you can see the gate in front of them. Um, I use tube steel square tubing so that it's open visually, and it's not something that they want to get away from. Like the gate we just looked at behind you. Uh, it's more of a blocking style gate. So this looks fairly open to the animal and they want to uh, get away from you. So they will run right up this alley. Okay. Well, that's our pins. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the design, dimensions, setup, whatever, uh, let me know below. If you like the video and want to see more like this, subscribe, like, thumbs up, whatever else you need to do. Change your time. Have a good one.